Good morning, y'all. Rise and grind. What's up, Roddy fam? You already know the time. Today we're going to be talking about pregnancy. Shh. Yo, stop fighting. Hey. Pregnancy and all that it entails. You know, the basics, 101s, uh, from my perspective of a dog owner, right? Day-to-day uh, -day living. Now, in episode 9, we talked to you about heat cycles. Right now, Gila, as you saw, she was kind of getting a little scuffle with Ragnar. Gila is in her second heat cycle, right? Uh, she ain't at the point yet that she's going to let penetrate, um, but she's going through those mood changes. As you see, she's going through those little scuffles with Ragnar. Hey, stop it. Whereas Raven is pregnant. She is about a month and uh, three weeks, roughly. She's due... Next Saturday, not this Saturday, but the 15th. Next Saturday, that's roughly when she's going to be due. So we're going to be talking um, all about pregnancy, right? From the moment that your female and your male um, mount and they are locked in, it is roughly going to be about two months, right? Roughly two months, uh, 60 to 63 days of the period of gestation for uh, dogs, right? If after day 60, the puppies haven't been born, I um, might keep a close eye on her. And if after day 63, you don't see any signs of uh, your dog going into labor, then I would highly, highly recommend, you know, that you... Go see your vet to see, you know, if, if they could induce the pregnancy or if they're going to do a C-section, right? Uh, but roughly, on average, it's it's about 60 to 63 days, uh, the, the gestation period. Now, during these this two-month time, you will notice certain changes in your dog, right? Uh, you'll, you'll notice both behavioral and physical changes in your dog. Now... It's normal. There, there's a bunch of puppies in there. There's life in there, right? Uh, there's a bunch of hormones that are going to change them. Um, typically, because of the hormones, they might have mood swings. And those mood swings might manifest um, in certain behavioral changes. Like they might get into scuffles. Nothing big. Uh, but they might get into scuffles. Uh, they may have a change of appetite. They may want to eat more or they may want to eat less during the uh, pregnancy time. Uh, Raven, during her first weeks of pregnancy, she wanted to eat much, much more. And right now these, that she's in her last weeks of pregnancy, uh, she's wanting to eat a little bit less, right? Um... I think that it's because, you know, there's so many puppies in there. See that belly? There's so many puppies in there that there's few space for her to um, actually get the food. At least that's what I think. I'm not quite sure, right? Now, you will want to give them all the nutrients that they need, right? The puppies right now, and then after they're born, when they're breastfeeding... Uh, they're going to be taking a lot of calcium from her. So you, you, if you want, you could do supplements, right? You could do uh, calcium tablets or powder. I really just like to double up on the chicken. You know, I'll give her more chicken and I'll give her more raw eggs, shell and everything. The shell is pure calcium um, so that she gets that. Uh, you could do multivitamins, you know, if you want. Um, I, I just really like to give her a, a more balanced diet. Uh, I feed much more barf during this time frame, right? Hey, stop it! Shh. Stop it! So I feed much more barf during this time. Now, typically, uh, the most common thing for for females to have is about six to eight puppies, roughly, give or take. Um, it doesn't have to be that number. It could be less. It could be more. But that's the most common, right? Uh, please, comment down. Or let me know in the comments below how many puppies you think Raven's going to have. Uh, her last litter was Gida. Gida is her daughter. And that litter was nine. Right? I have seen 
uh, litters with one or two puppies. And I've seen, I think there was a, a record breaker in the UK a couple years ago. It had 16 puppies. So, you know, it, it, it varies. But the average is about six to eight. Again, let me know how many puppies you think Raven's going to have down in the comments below. Now, during physical changes, physical changes, uh, you will see, as you notice, the nipples versus... Hey, buddy, I'm not going to do nothing to you. Come here. Versus Gila, she's in her heat cycles, and you can't really see her her nipples or her breasts uh, hang, right? So, of course, those breasts are, are filled with milk. They're getting ready to um, feed the new puppies, give them all the nutrients they need to live a nice and healthy life and happy life. So that's one major difference, right? You see the difference between Raven and Gila's bodies, right? Um, you won't notice it immediately. It doesn't happen immediately. It takes a little bit of time, right? Um, another physical change. The coat is a little bit shinier. I don't think you can see it that much on camera, but her coat is, is much more shiny than, um, than Gita's coat. Again, all, all those hormones in there, uh, they help out with that. Of course, she's going to be... You know, you're gonna notice the belly is gonna be a little bit wider. Hey, stop it guys Yo, hey, stop it And the last behavioral change that you will notice and this is when you really want to pay close attention to them is When they start nesting uh, Meaning when they start digging a hole When they start scratching a lot kind of like wanting to dig a hole that that's them letting you know hey Yo guys Yo! Hey! Right there! Stop it! Alright. So, when they nest, stop it! That's them letting you know, hey, I I'm ready. So, even before you see that, you want to make sure that you have your designated area uh, for them, whether it's, it's somewhere inside your house, whether, you know, it it's a whelping box, whatever, right? Whatever it is. You want to make sure that you have that area just for her, right? And that the other two don't bother. Um, something that as well, right? As you see, uh, Ragnar and Gia, they're, they're, they're kind of hype right now. I didn't work them out too much. You want to make sure that you work out your other dogs much more because they're still going to want to play. They, they don't know that, you know, the other dog is pregnant. They don't know that your female is pregnant. So they're going to bother her and she may not want to. Yo! Stop it. She may not want to. It's nothing that you can't handle if you're on top of them, right? Yo, stop it. But you, you do want to make sure that you work them the hell out so you avoid these types of, you know, little scuffles, right? Um, again, I didn't work them out today. Uh, I'm going to work them out after our video so that I make sure that both of them are hella tired and they don't bother Raven. Now, during them giving birth, again, it could be anywhere six, eight puppies on average, give or take. Um, usually it, it's it's pretty it's pretty quick if you haven't seen it it's it's something beautiful you know something very beautiful to to a witness you know the mother cut the umbilical cord clean them up um, you want to make sure that you get them within those first hours of them being born uh, get them on on the breast right make sure that they're sucking um, breast milk right. Uh, there's there's certain nutrients that are given out. I think it's during the first two, four hours, six hours. I'm not quite sure. Please, you know, let me know down in the comments below the more accurate and uh, technical info. Um, those puppies get certain nutrients in that first feeding. So you want to make sure that all of them, all of them, absolutely every single one of them, um, get on, on, on the nipple and suck, right? during those first hours it's going to be crucial for them crucial for their survival as well right so after that you know you you, you take care of them yo guys hey and these two he wants to hit it she's like i ain't ready and that's part of the heat cycles right so stop it guys yo come on hey yo hey I bring you all the real, man. You know, I'm not a trainer. I'm not an expert. I just bring you day-to-day -day experiences. You see how they're licking it? Going back to the heat cycles. 
It's Raven looking. And Ragnar's like, I want that. And she's like, I ain't ready. <laughs> but anyways, we're not talking about heat cycles. Um, this is the result of uh, a heat cycle when you breed, right? And we'll show you Gia. We're going to keep these guys separated because Gia's too young, you know. So bear to her second heat cycle. We're going to keep her separated from Ragnar. He wants to hit it. She ain't ready. And when she gets ready, I don't want that pregnancy. Yo, calm down, buddy. Anyways, uh, let me know down in the comments below uh, anything that you like to take care of during pregnancy. You know, is your bitch pregnant? How many puppies do you think they're going to have? Um, have you gone through having your female pregnant? It's a whole new world, you know. It ain't for everybody, but when you do get them pregnant, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Uh, they bond a lot with you, right? Especially like with my toddler. Like she noticed the first time that she had um, her puppies, uh, our baby was was newborn and she had her newborns and it was beautiful man beautiful beautiful experience just like you know they, they connect with you on that parent level uh, drop a like leave a comment down below again i show you all the real i show you all the mistakes whatever you know um i don't like to fake the funk man i'm a real dog owner and i show you my experience so you can learn from it right Take what you will, the positive and the negative, and, and learn from it, man. I hope that it's beneficial to y'all. Peace to the next one, man.